Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I got pickups. <laughs> I just watched um, the Guardian Brothers, which is a Chinese story. Um, you got two brothers of the spirit world who are meant to guard humans, but over time, humans stop believing in them and um, their abil ability to go into the human world is diminished and uh, we've got one particular guardian spirit named Beckett who got caught helping humans by the Dean and um, there's some things about the movie I liked and some things I didn't. I thought the animation was really beautiful. I thought some things were unnecessary. Like, there were times that the, the Mighty Babies I thought were really annoying. Um, yeah, they were cute, but some of the things they said were highly inappropriate. And it just kind of made me laugh and cr cringe. Um, I thought that explaining the mythology for those of us in the West who aren't familiar with what a neon is in IAN. <coughs> um, it's basically a, a very evil spirit. And um, you have Shen Tu and Lu Shen. And Shen Tu is the, the rotund brother, and you have uh, Lu Shen is the more. Um, skinny of the brothers uh, and it seems both the girls just saw her Twitter over him um, Lucien is the one who is <coughs> thinking that he should release the, the Nian in order to create belief in the hu humans once again but um Shen Tu is the voice of reason and logic and says, brother, what do you think you're doing? Did you miss the, the whole part where Beckett was saying, if you do this, it will re result in ultimate chaos and destruction. And uh, Lu Shen is not thinking about that, but um, it's actually a fairly good film. Um, the dubbing could have been done a little bit better. There was like quite a bit of lip flap. Uh, which is something I don't care about. Um, maybe if I had watched the original Mandarin, I wouldn't have been bothered by it. Lord knows I watch plenty of foreign films, so it's not anything out of the or ordinary. Um, as far as the Guardian Brothers is concerned, I would give it three stars out of five. Mel Brooks is one of the voices. He's, he's the voice of the really smarmy, um, mal malcontent, um, insidious, uh, underhanded restaurant shop owner, the rival of, uh, Rain's mother shop. And we learned that Rain's, uh, mother, it was her, her mother shop, their grandmother's shop, great-grandmother, great-great-grandmother. I don't know if it goes back to the great-great-great-grandmother, but um, they haven't changed their soup recipe in over 100, 100 years, and um, some things happen, and I'm not going to say what happens. Um, it's, it's kind of predictable, but I really like the animation. I like the design of the character. Hers. I thought that it was really beautiful to look at. Um, I love a Asian myths, so it was a treat for me to see. But the soup looked really, really good. Um, I really don't know what else to say, honestly. If you're interested in Chinese, Chinese myth, then this is the film for you. Um, some of the aspects, like the, the dancing aspect, I just thought, why? It, it just didn't make any sense. Um, 
there are a couple of moments like that. I mean, I, I know it's for kids, but it didn't add or detract anything from, from the storyline. It just, it was there. I think without it, it would have made um, a whole lot more sense. Maybe that was meant to entertain <laughs> youth, but I just thought it was rather superfluous. Um, I don't know what else to say. I did enjoy the film. I thought it was um, really quite lovely, especially the part about the neon, because um, when Becca talks about the neon it's, itself, it's 2D animation, and I got really excited. I thought, ah, it's the first time I've seen that in a long time, other than um, God School, which is on YouTube. It's done, I think it's uh, a French... Uh, animator who's doing this. The other, only other animator than Vivsy Pop. Um, it's one in the past na named um, the People's Cartoonist and I used to have um, contact with the People's Cartoonist. I don't hear from him, him anymore but he was really nice. He was, he was super super sweet, down to earth. Um, we connected right away. We became really good friends but then I lost contact with him. He got married but I was so I was really happy for him. I did fanfic surrounding these characters, and I, I gave him pointers. And I don't know what happened to him. If you're out there, people's cartoonists, and listening to me, um, I know you're a busy man, but uh, the fans really want to see Third Wish animated completely, and you're half finished. But that may not ever happen. Needless to say. say um, I still appreciate your work. Um, there are so many others that uh, I'm a fan of right now. There's 2D, 2D animation, which is something I really miss. And that makes me sound like I'm kind of a convergent. But um, one thing that just recently released is uh, Hilda Season 2. So I will be doing a review of that. And still waiting for Disenchantment or disenchanted, but um, they said it would be um, released in 2020, the end of 2020. Uh, we're almost at the end of 2020 and still waiting, but um, that's basically all I have to say, honestly. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao,